That was almost bad. I actually reloaded. Ooh. Luckily, I have Discord. Just oh. The ability, not the. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you got really confused. <laughs> Discord makes that when I reload, I gain accuracy and health regen. Instead of losing all my <laughs> stacks of anarchy immediately. Say that to my face. That's where they're going with that. What? Did you hear that uh, over the intercom or no? Was that for only me? They just made a Terminator reference. Alright, we're going to start. Oh, what? What was the reference? Pretty much just saying if bonus points if you knock someone into molten steel and they blew a thumbs up as they are drowning, giving you a slow, manly tear. Oh, I guess it'll be different. <laughs> been turned into a skag. I know it sounds insane, but I'm certain of it. He's somewhere in the Torque Forge. Look for a skag with a red scarf. Find him, please. We still gotta set up a time for you, me, and one of the other friend I kept telling you about to do uh, Tricky Towers. Although, I don't know, have you, have you tried playing Tricky Towers at all yet? Nope. Did I tell you it's Tetris but with physics? Yep. I don't know, I think you should at least try it once or twice on your own. Mmm, no. Alright. I don't know, I'll feel bad if you're just not, if you don't get it or if you are weirded out by the physics when you first play it. Assuming the first time you play it is when we all get together. Hmm. None of those skags has a scarf. Oh well, just kill them all. This is supposed to be a reference to something. Probably. Maybe that's just because I feel like everything in a Borderlands is supposed to be a reference to something. For better or for worse. Lot of, in this game. What? There are a lot of references in this game. Where? 
don't even see him. Oh, there he is. So, uh, yeah, I'm scat. I ran away once that maniac Derek found out I was shooting him. Look, can you do me a favor and give him my scarf so he thinks I'm dead? Uh, oh, and also, don't kill me. I, I just realized that stepping out of my hiding spot when you already thought I was dead was probably a bad move, so, uh, yeah. That got awkward fast. Can we kill him? Who? What are the rewards? Money and XP. Doesn't matter who we, which one we do. Doesn't matter. He wasn't even a skag. The lung. And now I'm beginning to think those gypsies don't actually I don't like have cheaters. mystical powers. Oh, okay. Still, Vault Hunter, I thank you for upholding my honor. Get back to the bounty board whenever you're done. I mean, we may have just held a psychopath, but at least he's not a cheater. Yeah, they're all psychopaths. The Vault Hunter has arrived at the board, Dan! And that can mean only one thing! You're about to see some awesome violence! Got three cameras in the forge. Yep, heard the uh, Terminator reference. You just heard it right now. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like that that scene has been referenced so many times. I kind of just meh about seeing a reference. Old game. Yeah, but it's reference has been going on for years. Like I'd believe it probably was still prominent around this time anyway. I wouldn't say even when this game came out, it was new to reference that scene. Yeah, that's how it was for the flu. Oh man, there are some pretty nice gypsies. God, that's so good. So much damage. Uh. Are you buying it or not? No, I can't buy it. I can't afford it. By the way, out of all those repeat missions, the one in the beatdown is the one worth doing. The beatdown, the one destroying all those, uh... Drunken bar fight. Grab a beer and kick some beer. Oh, that's the only one worth doing? Like, in terms of getting out In my opinion. If you want, like, actually to do something. It's time to win this thing, kid. This is it. Piston is the only thing standing between you and a vault full of loot. You know what to do, sugar. Fucking blow his ass up. Got it. I thought we were just gonna blow him. No, that's gay. I'm sure somebody out there wants to. Yo, bitch, did I'm gonna kill that ass. Let ah. me in. Let me in. What motherfucker? So, what me. are you planning to do with the arena once the tournament is over? Oh, probably get a construction team in here to carefully disassemble it, and what the f*** do you think? We're gonna blow it up! Oh, sugar, <laughs> I've got a much better idea. Chest. Tor gun. Shotgun. Hmm? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Nope, not worth it. Where's the torque gun? It's not worth it. Torg. Oh, oh, I... I... I thought you were saying, like, it was a legendary torque gun. I was like, oh shit. Every once in a while, they, there's this pearlescent in those machines. I got a pearlescent uh, homing grenade from that once. I mean, we're gonna about to open a vault soon, so I mean, we're hopefully we'll get some good shit in it. 
Well, I want pearlescence. I hope he's a midget. You've seen Piston before. Have we? Yes, oh, he's the Frank A. Uh, I forgot about him. Now it's time I fought you in single combat. Gladiator versus Gladiator. Versus... What the fuck? you're extinct. Giant goddamn Metal T-Rex! Wow, really? You're in that thing, you puss? I'm not Almost dead. Ow. Or just stacks of anarchy, bitch. Take long for us to beat him. That's it, folks. The blood of a coward is wait, what? Got a shotgun. Number one badass. Mm. The vault is gonna open. The game again with the only the no t no times or whatever. If you want it, you can have it. It's time for a loot explosion. Loot explosion. Aside from Iridium. I, I didn't see anything good. And that, boys and girls, is the story of how the Vault Hunter became the champion of Pandora. You forgot the part where the Vault Hunter kicked Piss in the ball so hard he exploded! Because that never happened to you. Should have happened. Irrelevant! Calm down, Torg. You've got other things to worry about, like giving me your arena so I don't tell your stockholders about this little tournament. <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to know <laughs> illegal off-world death matches are illegal? Sugar, I think this is going to be the start of a beautiful relationship. How the fuck am I supposed to know that illegal off-world death matches are illegal? Does she ever, does she get with Torque at all? Torg? Mr. Torg? Yeah. Cause you know it's Mr. Tork, not Mr. Torque. I keep saying Torque, That's not my bad. He's a unit of measure of cylindrical force. Oh my God! Stop Sorry, it. Circular force. All right, I'm skipping this. Um, no, she does not. All right. Dude, was there nothing good again? Well, you gotta look at each thing. I keep telling you to stop, assuming that like if it, that the the rarity itself like. Picks whether or not the item will be good. Nothing that any of the items are going to be good, but. Yeah, none of these items are going to be good. Rarity in itself isn't, like, only that makes something good. Have you, have you been using, like, white, white weapons, basic ones? This one's, uh, that Rydian, but I have some blue stuff. I have some white stuff equipped. I only have one purple equipped. I have one purple. <laughs> Only thing that matters to me is the damage. The fire rate for some SMGs, but even still, I prioritize damage over that. Man, help the two class items or gun guns are occurred. I'm also trying to make sure I don't miss any iridium. Wow, though, that kind of sucks. I was hoping we would go in the vault. This is the vault. No, that was definitely not as good of a reward as it was for, uh, whatchamacallit. Did I get rid of- no. My, other, my actual good rocket launcher is right there. <laughs> definitely kind of want to make a, uh, psycho. In my free time, but I don't know. 
gonna say is there's any that's like in the stupid Godzilla thingy. It's a badass source. Yeah. Nah, there's nothing. Although you did say this this DLC doesn't scale well. I did. So it makes sense a lot of this stuff is garbage. Are we ending it here? Yes, I'm tired. But no, the reason I personally just kind of was iffy on the new Star Wars movies was, like I said, it's it's it focuses on the journey of a set of a set main characters, obviously Ray, Finn, and the others, while this grand war is supposedly happening. But it's like we very rarely see the war actually happening. And I feel like the only time we ever saw anything close to the actual war happening was in the second one. God, and I, I still can't believe the Mocus movie. Maybe you're on taking that. the name too literal, like not not you know. But they, saying, but in, but, in like... the, but in the prequel and the original trilogy, we actually did see a lot of war. We saw the battle on Hoth, which was yeah. in my opinion. But like, also yeah. the first order is trying to, to my understanding, it seems like the first order is trying to actually like form itself. Uh, I, I still don't know enough about the First Order, because I want because remember, they're still considered a rebellion against the First Order, not considered a republic, to my knowledge, if I remember right. So, like, what, so I, I always assumed the First Order was something like the remnants of the Empire, after the rebellion destroyed the Empire, and then it's like, oh, well, we take over the Empire, and now the rebels are still the rebels, because they never actually got to set up their government, or something like that. All I know is that... All I know is that my favorite portion of Star Wars, timeline-wise, is either the Clone Wars or pre or Old Republic. Like, before the events of the prequels even happen. I don't mind the original trilogy in the in the world in that point, because that's also when bounty hunters were most prevalent. Although Clone Wars also, there were a fair amount of bounty hunters. But I, I, I it's just how I am. Because I'm, I'm a big Jedi Sith versus Sith kind of person. Back when there were a ton of them. But I also just like Clone Wars in general. Um, the that sad, might be, that saddest might thing be. in the world is the extended universe being taken out. I'm sorry? The saddest thing in the world is the universe, is the extended universe taken. Like, uh, taken sadly, out. I forget when it happened, but most of the extended universe... When Disney universe, took over. Yeah, the extended universe is no longer canon, which made me very, the very mad. Universe is pretty much I was so over. mad about that. So many good things. So many good things were lost. <laughs> It's funny, it was when we were watching it, we were talking about, like, lightsaber. I'm like, yeah, yeah I, know, I know all the lightsaber colors. I'm not sure they're still relevant, but I know them. I don't even, I don't even know if the events, in, uh, if some of the characters in the Clone Wars uh, cartoon show that I fucking loved are canon anymore. I thought we were changing I was DLC. watching something. Did we finish yes, this? Yes, we finished, because look at the quest. We're fighting an Invincible. I mean, there was two missions out in the Forge. Right, and one of those missions was a repeat mission, I'd so we're rather, not doing I, it. I was about to say, I thought we were going to a new DLC. I, okay. I didn't know what the other mission was. That's not, I remember last us discussing what we were doing, and we were going to another DLC. We were trying to discuss which one to go to, though. I know you said you wanted to do Tiny Tina second last, because there was some other DLC you remembered that was something you wanted to save for last or something. Oh, you wanted to save uh, Defending. Maybe a little uh, for last. Yeah. Just because it's like in chronological thing, that thing. Yeah, yeah. relevance of story based things, I would say it's it, best to do Tiny Tina then. Because it leads, because uh, the. Tiny Tina is a very special DLC for a lot of reasons. But the Sanctuary one, lead, it leads to the events of 3, correct? Yes. Yeah. So do you want to do Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep or Captain Scarlet in the Pirate's Booty? Which one do you want to do? Because I think you want to save Tiny Tina, so we'll do Scarlet's Booty if that's the case. I'm down for literally either or. Just do Scarlet's Booty. Save the best for second last. Oasis. Vault Hunt! Vault And cue the intro. A long time ago, there was a big.
and killed all the bad guys. The end. No, 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 that's not how you start a story. God, my volume's so low. Sorry for no one's hearing any volume. This is how you start a story. Legends speak of Captain Blade's lost treasure of the sands. Of a prize so great that men would turn their sands red in pursuit of it. Of a pirate queen, courageous and deadly, who would stop at nothing to find it. Of a monstrous leviathan. Of the vault hunters who journeyed to the desert town of Oasis, not knowing the horrors that would befall them. See? That's how you do it. Mine was more succinct. Your life's gonna be succinct, you dirty little orphan. <laughs> I guess there goes my theory about the uh, orphan from, uh, the kid from Welcome the first game being uh, Tiny Tina. Or a early version of Tiny now, Tina. If you could please <laughs> save me from the filthy sand pirates trying to steal my water! <sighs> Not the water. We are in a desert, so... I know. One uh, MMO I was going to try to get you into, because I've been getting into it, is the Star Wars The Old Republic. <laughs> Problem is, it was it's such a... game a series that I hear so good things about that I've never played. Yeah. Oh, you've heard a lot of good things about that game? I've heard, like, the whole, like, the whole, like, Old Republic like, stuff, but I've always heard, like, good stuff about. Oh, it's a lot. It's, it's fun. Although, it was a pain in the ass to install. Oh my god, it took me two whole days to figure out all the problems of where I wasn't installing. At first I thought it just was my internet connection, and I found out it was my antivirus, was for labeling it as a virus so it wouldn't install properly. Oh, it was awful. Give us the water, and Sandman won't use your rib plates like a hat rack. Kill no beard. Where is he? Oh. Right here. Ah! I didn't need death trap for you guys. Yes, 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 yes. Now that my water is safe, let us chat in person. Like people. But... What's that ruckus coming from Oasis? Oh, is that a fool hunter I see? Stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. Tells me you're here for the treasure, same as I am. So, we've got two options. We can work together and split the treasure, or we could just try to kill one another. Or maybe both! Come find me in Wormwater, yeah? I am Shay, and you... You are the coolest person I have ever seen. Please don't go. Please. Shay. You need the other. <laughs> I'll stick with you. <laughs> people of Oasis, thank We're about to see who you like more. Shade or Scooter. if he has not given the finest whiskey. Could you please procure some from the merchant caravans nearby? We go this way first. God, his teeth were... <sighs> teeth were actually making my skin crawl. What, you like how uneven and jagged his teeth are in and space? His, and his smile... <sighs> actually gave me chills. And you know, there's like saliva coming out of his Stop. mouth. It's like... Stop, stop, stop. And, you know, he does not actually I have a cigarette. Only seraph crystals. Go kill a seraph. I need seraph crystals. You must defeat a seraph guardian before you are worthy to look at my wares. Looks like a friendly guy. I will say this. I've never seen this here before. That's the first time you've seen that? Yep, I've never paid attention to it. I've always just kind of ran around and did shit. Makes sense. Let's get him here. <sighs> Did my 
sand skiff just randomly explode, forcing you to stay in Oasis and hang out with me some more? Darn. Well, my other friends out in the flats might have some sand skiff parts for you. They are very nice and alive. Go talk to them. But be careful. If you step on the flat sands out there, the sand grubs will hear you and eat you, and then you won't be able to hang out with me. I already hate him. Well, I've been playing way too many, too much of the old Republic because I almost hit, went to hit my button to auto run. <laughs> I mean, there is auto running to a certain degree in this. I mean, I just have to hit shift once and then just hold the W. Why, hello, person. I'm feeling very good today and not that from thirst. How are you? Oh, you've met Lionel. How are you, Lionel? Not dead of thirst. Ha ha ha! Oh, tell me about it. How is your family? Well, they. That is a great story, Lionel. Friend, I believe he has an engine capacitor stashed somewhere nearby. It's yours! God damn it, everything is scaring me today. Holy tits. Jocko Jennifer. What'd you think of Lionel? Mm. Great guy. Mm. Oh, I'm playing way too much Star Wars. Holy heck, I keep hitting my buttons to auto run, check the map. <laughs> Thinking I can move while looking at the map. Oh, oh that's what you get when you play a game too much. You gotta get used to your key bindings again. Oh, oh my God. word! A new person has left Oasis to come talk to me! And this person is so handsome, too! <laughs> Ugh, that is Mrs. Blavis. Be careful. She is a relentless flirt. I always feel like a piece of meat around her. I gave her a coolant disperser several weeks ago as a gift. Take it! Just think the lovely people of Oasis. 
It's good we have so much water. Otherwise, we might have died of dehydration. <laughs> you retrieve to the sand skiff. Then you may scan it and summon one from any catcher-ride machine. Oh! She is fixed! Wonderful! Please hit that button to digiscan her into the catcher-ride system. If you want. Destruct a sand skiff from any catcher ride machine. Before you go off to meet Captain Scarlet, though, you must return to me. Oh, God. Why is so tells me you don't like shade. Why is every person in this game annoying? I have no reason to call you back. I just enjoyed All for fuck's sake. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Captain Scarlet has been tracking the treasure of the sands for several years. <gasps> you should sail out to meet her in your We're not done here. Are you fucking kidding me? You have met Jocko, yes? He is a simple man with very big dreams. He he wishes to be a sand pirate, you see. I'm sure he would love it if you could give him some <laughs> prosthetics, uh, teeth, peg legs, things of this sort. <sighs> That's what she said! <laughs> My great grandma used to be a sand pirate around these parts, but I don't want anybody to know that. Her old ship is just outside of the Oasis. I need you to scuttle it and erase any evidence of the creepy stuff my grandgram used to do. Go get the explosives I stashed for you. An actual human being doesn't sound fucking completely insane. <laughs> I know she just asked us to blow shit up, but I'll rather blow shit up than be here with fucking what's his name? With Shade. <laughs> nice. Oh shit. Harpoon. What are the different types of weapons? Rocket, saw blade, and harpoon. Well, either harpoon or rocket, as far as I'm concerned. Harpoon. Uh, Don't worry, I get to use the harpoon. Oh. That's disappointing. Ew, I cannot shoot. Ooh, that's bad design. What are you doing? Driving. Oh, tits. What is happening here? Child schmaffic and some animal inside. What is no. up with this vehicle? What is this driving? It's free free driving. You can drive in any direction. Oh. It's pretty great actually. It's weird. It's phenomenal. You wanna know why it's great? You can do whatever the fuck you want. It's hard to I get can do, I can do stuff like this. happening right now. <laughs> we are pointing upwards. It's so weird. It's so great. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's weird. It's phenomenal. What the fuck did you just do? Fucking magic, that's what I did.
feel this driving. Oh, that's like the end anyway. All right. Holy shit. This is super weird for anyone who's watching. <laughs> nah. It's not weird. A harpoon, and then it blows up. Oh, it does. Harpoon. Great! Now nobody can find out I was ever related to that child schmafficking bitch. Get back to the bounty board whenever you're done here. I mean, I don't really care, but whatever. But whatever. What are you... Ready? Hey, oh. vault hunter guy. Need your help. My grandma used to be friends with Captain Blade, the guy who buried the treasure. He left his pet stalker to my grandma when he died, and she took care of it and stuff. But then she died and left it to me, and I'm like, I don't want to take care of a friggin' stalker. They're gross. So go kill it for me. It's an oasis somewhere. Well, I guess we're gonna go kill a pet. but I like it almost. <laughs> I think in the future I'm just gonna get my own. <laughs> I'm not even moving it, it's literally just falling. <laughs> Orphan Musk. You killed Captain Blade's stupid stalker. Yay! Go back to the bounty board and I'll pay you. You sound so excited. Yay! <laughs> Find the Treasure. Where be the treasure? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this 
<laughs> such a fun kill chicken thing. Oh, you had something there. Nope. Oh, did you? Oh, it was, it was like something. I don't know. All right. So, let's say there's an X on the ground. Well, in some all. of the cases for this. I had to stage another fake execution today. One of the cooks was caught stealing from the treasure hole, so I had to pretend to kill him to keep the rest of the crew in line. Gave him enough cash to disappear, shot him overboard with a blank. <sighs> Keeping up this face some Captain Blade retains a hell of a lot of work. So, was Captain Blade like this actually sane, nice guy? <laughs> It might be a reference to the dreaded pirate Roberts. Uh, you, you know more about whatever that is. Have you not seen the Princess Pride? Oh yeah, never mind. Well, I, I, I saw the Princess Pride like middle school. I haven't rewatched it since. I rewatched clips of it in like the past couple of years, but the um, dreaded pirate Robert is the character that Wheatley is uh, when he comes back. To save, um, so I can't remember her name, yeah, but um, <laughs> you learn that the term of like the, the dreaded pirate robber is passed down to people. So that's what keeps the tale that keep like going. Oh, so you're I hate my great grandma. Here, money. Woo! You also I'm surprised you thought I would remember a name character. Something that you would like, yes. I did like the movie, don't get me wrong. I, I love that movie. Mouth, mouth, mouth. Hmm. This is a uh, interesting gun. It's called Captain Blade's Orphan Maker. Yep, I saw it. Well, I'm confused what the drawback thing is. The payback or what, what was it said? The curse. Curse of Backlash. I, does that mean that we can sometimes take damage from firing it? Because that would suck. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. <sighs> 